All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome back to another update vliggity vlog. So, have a lot of news to share with you guys. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these update vlogs. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, obviously, the big news that I have to share is that ya boy got his visa extended. So, I'm good to stay in Japan all the way through the end of August. 2023 we so i'll be here all summer baby so that feels really good and it's been a lot of work trying to get that extension done believe you me i thought it was going to be something really simple and straightforward but it was anything but to say the least it feels good to finally have all that behind me and uh be good until the end of august but with that said that's only four months away basically so I'll still be continuing to job hunt in the meantime, but I think I'll be changing my strategy around this time around. So as you guys know, I've been hunting for lots of different types of jobs, namely as an English teacher, that's kind of the main gig for a lot of us uh, foreigners coming to Japan and especially fresh graduates as well. But I've applied to a lot of the schools out here had a fair amount of interviews, but wasn't able to seal the deal, unfortunately. So I'll be looking elsewhere for employment. And I think with, uh, with doing more freelance work out here in Japan, it's really opened my eyes to a lot that has changed over the years in Japan, as far as employment opportunities and just opportunities for growth as well. So basically what I'm saying, it's not 2004 anymore. So we're not just only cut out for English teaching and being house husbands and that's it. You know, there's a lot of alternative career paths out here for us, namely IT being probably the number two employer aside from English teaching, as well as especially recently or the past few years, um, digital marketing, social media strategy, things like that. Those have really cropped up in terms of demand over the past few years, certainly since I've been back. I've noticed it and I've gotten a lot of different opportunities because of that. But I was in school for most of it, so I couldn't really get any sort of uh, full-time visa at the time. Uh, but there are a lot of corporate opportunities as well for being part of like the in-house marketing team and doing a lot of these freelancing gigs and just interacting a lot of different people going to various network events as well. That's been another major get for me, getting to go out and meet new people, meet new creatives and things like that. It's really been good um, for my mental health as well. Cause as you guys know, during old Colonial Macaroni era, um, the old head brain wasn't quite what it used to be. And it really, really fucked with me a lot mentally. And I'm glad to say that over the past month or so, since getting back into the freelancing game and going to a lot of these networking events, it's really, really improved my overall outlook on life and just, I feel way more positive about things moving forward. So that's basically what I'll be doing. I'll be basically staying in my lane as far as what jobs I'll be applying for. And, you know, I feel like the more I go to these types of networking events and just getting out and doing more of what I love, then more opportunities will come because they always do. It's kind of funny how that works. I sound like an info infomercial or something. I swear to God, it's not what I'm trying to come off as. I'm just trying to tell it like it is. And you know, the reality is um, after applying to so many different English teaching jobs, range from Akaiwa, Dispatch, Direct Hire, you name it, I applied for it, got rejected from it, or ghosted, most of the time was ghosted, actually. I just had to kind of sit back and think about my, my options and practice a lot of self-awareness as far as why I got rejected from all these jobs. And even if I did get accepted by a job, would I even be happy with it? I mean, yeah, I'd be able to stay in Japan and continue to make videos and, you know, move to a different location that's a bit bigger than where I'm at right now. 
but would I be happy teaching English as my main occupation? Probably not, you know? Like being a foreigner living abroad in Japan, I've come across a lot of people who are English teachers, both past and present. And I know a fair bit of them who really take what they do seriously and are very committed to doing what they do. And I'm super stoked for them. But for me, at the end of the day, it's just a visa and a paycheck, really. It's not really something that I'm all that keen on doing. So even if I would have gotten accepted, it wouldn't have been that big of a victory moment for me other than getting a visa and a paycheck. So I had to sit down and think about how I want to do things moving forward. And like I said, with doing these freelance gigs and getting to meet all kinds of new people, doing that and doing networking stuff, it's really opened my eyes to a lot of different opportunities, not just in Japan, but elsewhere in the world. So I was just thinking that I should just, you know, focus on doing what I do best and try to get some sort of visa sponsored opportunity through that, which admittedly is a pretty hard road to navigate, but it's not impossible. A lot of people have navigated those roads and have come out of the other side just fine. And I know a fair bit of them who have going to a lot of these events and just meeting them and hearing their stories. It's just like, you know, I've been through worse, been through a lot better too. But I think if I just keep going the way I'm going, I'll figure things out. I just feel, feel really positive about things as far as that goes. But if that means having to leave Japan to look for other opportunities elsewhere, then I think I'm at a point in my life where I'd be okay with it. Would I prefer to stay in Japan versus go back to America or go elsewhere? Of course. I love staying here in Japan. I love this place. But at the same time, you got to go where there are opportunities. And if there's no opportunities for me to continue my stay here, then I have to look elsewhere. And that's just the reality of the situation. And I think in doing all that I've done in the over three years since I've been back in Japan, I can definitely hold my head up high and leave this country with no regrets, should it come to that. But for now, I'll be continuing to look for opportunities to continue my stay here. And if it doesn't come to pass, it's not meant to be. And on the plus side, I still have my degree. So if an opportunity to come back to Japan were to present itself, I'd be more than able to get a work visa. So it's not the end. I will be looking for various opportunities out here in Japan to stay, but if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. And I'm continuing to repeat myself. God damn it, I apologize. So that's all I gotta say for now, guys. Uh, just be on the lookout for more of that quality content as always, and uh, follow me on the other social meds to keep on the up and up with what I'm up to. And with that said, this is Andy, signing for now. As always, forever, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Simple life and happier times still to pass. Memories of mine. Shooting stars in the pale moon.